We're gonna go all the way back to the original Techno Super Bowl for the regular Nintendo. Look at these graphics, they're so beautiful. And I figured I'd make it a little bit more difficult on myself. Let's, why not pick the worst possible team <laughs> and play as them. Some other people said New England is the worst team in the game. But it's pretty unanimous that the quarterback, Steve Grogan, is one of the worst quarter worst players in all of Tecmo Super Bowl. So we're taking one of the worst teams, taking out all their decent players. <laughs> we already switched around their playbook, and uh, and we're going to play as them, New England. Worst possible team I think I can be. Oh, my Murdy's going to get rewarded. If Grogan can get it to him. Yeah, not even close, and it's picked. Oh, awful. Come on. Get it to him. Oh, God, every time he misses. <laughs> He's going to miss all season with that throw. Be overthrown again, isn't it? <laughs> Son of a bitch. One can be possibly more open. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Please. Yeah, I actually got one. Or the actually completed one. Yeah, girl, get a good throw finally! Eric Sievers taking the lead! Woo! <laughs> 17 point fourth quarter! What a game! Huge comeback! That was crazy! That will get us the division! Patriots, who would have thought? Worst team in the league getting the AFC East title. Love it! Woo! AFC champs! Patriots! Look at all those pictures going off. NFC Championship game. Is it the all? Is it the powerful Cowboys, or is it the the Chicago Chicago Harbaugh's? Who is it gonna be? No, oh, Chicago! <laughs> it's gonna be Chicago. Is Chicago even any good? Seriously, couldn't have been anybody else but a a Jim Harbaugh led team that I have to play against. Just recover the onside kick. All will be well. Oh, or actually kicking it off. Well, that is officially the Bears waving the white flag in this one. Fourth quarter, down by three touchdowns, two minutes to go, and they're like, yeah, we're done. We gave it our best. Woo! Super Bowl champs! New England Patriots! Okay, Scott. Contra 3, the year is 2636 AD. And is, uh, that's either one big building or the Twin Towers. Can't really tell. But then there was, there was some aliens, and they came along. And then there was a Spanish Armada. And then they were, it was, they were two brothers. They were, they were just called two brothers. <laughs> Welcome everybody, we're playing The Alien Wars, Contra 3. It's supposed to be one of the harder games on, uh, on the Super Nintendo. It's time for revenge. Let's attack aggressively. Because that's what normal people say. That's normal words. So we're playing Contra 3 today, and we're, just like we did before, we're not playing it just on regular mode. We're playing it on hard difficulty. Yeah. I have to stay alive. That is what we've got to focus on. We're dying already. Man, we're dying all over the place already. Here we go. Whoa, mode 7! <laughs> This blew my mind. Look at how big this boss is. He always scared the shit out of me. Look at that little dangly arm. No, my babies! <laughs> Suck it, penis alien. He's climbing after me. I just have to dodge his spiky shell, his wavy arms, and, and beat him. It, it's, it's that easy. It's an easy game. It's a game for babies. <laughs> this is a baby game. Oh, fuck. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I was taunting the game. It's only fair. It's only fair that I immediately die from it. Just, can we just stay alive for a little bit? That'd be a good goal. No, no. Ooh. There we go. <gasps> just beat this baby game. I'm not a baby. I'm a man. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it, 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 we did it,
Alien crew. Ooh, a peaceful time will come. That's. Look at how peaceful everyone is. Except for that dog face. Jesus Christ, it looks like an old man demon. Okay, Scott. Whoa, seizure warning! Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Here it is again. Last of the kind of major Turtles games for either like the Super Nintendo or Nintendo. And arguably, this is the best one for the Nintendo. The Manhattan Project, Turtles 3. Let's actually start it up. Cowabunga, dudes. Let's ride the wave back to Manhattan. So, we were... Let me get this right. We were in Florida. <laughs> and we're gonna ride... We're gonna surf back to Manhattan. I love it. And that's video game and turtles logic for ya. That is hilarious. Got this by the ass, Donnie. Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful! Ooh, and we gain a life. Good job, Donnie. That was nice. Very happy with that. Hey, she, and April's kinda got a face in this game. Good for her. Yeah, Donnie's winking at me and everything. Thank you! Look! Isn't that Crank's spaceship in the sky above Manhattan Island? Probably. That seems likely, if it's a spaceship. And Shredder's just laying there. No, and Shredder's just getting away. Why'd you just leave him there? Four turtles had to go gangbang April, and they just let Shredder run off on his own. Oh, he's fucking... Show, just survive, Donnie. Fuck. I said always fucking. <laughs> That's what Krang does. Krang always be fucking. Stay alive, Donnie. Ooh, that doesn't look good. I do not like that at all. Looks like he's trying to electrocute me, but fuck you, Krang! Fuck you! Yeah, Donnie! No, I'm invincible! Whoa. Oh, he's not even guessing anything this time. And there he goes, off to Dimension X. Fuck yeah, Donnie, staying alive! So, let's let's do it, baby. Let's do it! Come on, Donnie. Let's finish this asshole off. Come on. You. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Donnie. Explode Krang's ship. We escaped. Oh, it's just like that scene in that Super Metroid. <laughs> ship blowing away. Good job. Yeah. Slowly. Slowly now. Slowly bring Manhattan back down. We don't want to destroy everything. Which it inevitably would. But good job. Good job, everybody. Good job all around. Cowabunga's right! Okay, Scott. There it is. <laughs> there it is! Ghosts and Goblins! For the regular Nintendo. Three different options there. Weird. Let's just start it up. Notoriously, one of the most difficult games ever, but especially on the NES library, that I have never legit beaten. I'm gonna challenge myself. We're gonna do it today. This level does suck, though. Oh, is, this level's brutal. Everything kind of needs to go right, so we might have some skipping around until I actually get it right. Because, yeah, this level kind of sucks. There's just a lot of demons, there's a lot of... There's this unicorn, there's a dragon, I have to wait for those tattoo guys to kind of just, you know, cooperate with me. Die already, God damn it! He doesn't die from this, does he? He doesn't die from the shield, does he? I think I remember hearing about that. So I just need to avoid him. That sucks. Duck him! Oh fuck, that almost killed me. I almost died right there. Yes! Yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! That is what I'm talking about. Now we just have like a final boss. Oh! Fuck yeah, that level. Honestly, that could not have gone better. Besides getting hit by that unicorn. That was awesome. That was awesome. Skipping weird. Alright, we can do this. Alright. No, don't. Ooh, it's like a. It's like a. I forgot that it's like a. A strafe. Instead, wait for him to fire? And this is what I think I needed to have the shield for. Get up! There we go! Fuck yeah! This room is an illusion, and a trap devised by Satan. Go ahead dauntlessly. Make rapid progress. Spelled with only one S. So, <laughs> fuck me, right? Guess what? All the way back at level one. Everyone knew this. This isn't a big surprise. Just a big old middle finger to the player. And now, I don't even know if it's any harder 
or if it's the exact goddamn same, or what. That's just bowling ball they shoots at me. Hey, a knife! Fuck, yes, we're picking that up. That is my knife now. I thought we were going to have to do a knifeless playthrough. Let's dodge that, and turn to bones. Son of a bitch! Right away, hit the goddamn fire. And bones again. And we're bones again. Oh my god. What the fuck, dragon? What the fuck, dragon dick? Ugh. There we go! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're naked, but we got it. Get that key! Alright, All right, back up, back up, my lady. This room is not an illusion to visit by Satan. I feel pretty confident that's not, anyway. Hit him in the face. Shoot your, shoot your fire. Don't! God damn it, I knew I was gonna get hit there. He's gotta be almost dead, actually. There, get him! Come on. There he is! Boom! Congratulations! This story is happy end. Thank you. Congratulations. That is all I ever wanted to be. I just wanted to be congratulated. Being the wise and courageous knight that you are, your feel strongeth welling in your body. Return to the starting point. Challenge again. No thank you. I am not challenging again, but I am a wise and courageous knight. And I honestly, I do feel strongeth welling in my body. Okay, Scott. Super Castlevania 4. Love this game. Great atmosphere, great display, great game. A little bit easier than some of the other ones, but, uh, you know, we're okay with that. We've played enough hard games lately. Clear that fog, Simon. Get it out of here. So instead of just playing this legit, we are going to play a slightly harder version of this game, but we have to do that through a password, so... Hey, it was just that easy. So password's entered. Enter. So now we're going to start up. Yay, chicken. God damn bats. I'm already over these bats. I know it's Castlevania. Bats are a main enemy in this game, but let's let's calm calm your tits, bats. Kill them, please. Kill them, bats. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. One more hit on that goddamn bat. There it is. You're kidding me. It wouldn't let me move. It wouldn't let me move. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! God. God damn it. Not these goddamn bats. <laughs> Why did it have to be bats? <laughs> this entire playthrough has just been me getting my ass handed to me by bats. So of course, this game getting me near the end, just having to run away from bats. One of my instant gr now fears. I know Castlevania and Halloween in general, bats are like a staple. But if I don't see another bat for a long while, I'll be okay with that. So Alright, yes, I was right. Up to Dracula, but first, only the penitent men shall pass. <laughs> chicken, 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 hearts, 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 hearts! Thank you. Thank you, Nintendo Power. One of the great tidbits of information that I can absolutely use from you. Dodge it. Okay. Just focus on where that laser's gonna be. Dodge it! <sighs> Come on, one more hit. Stay focused. Stay frosty. Get him. Stay it! Oh, is that it? That's it! That's it! Ooh, light! Break open, light! Fuck <laughs> yeah, bats! Fuck you, bats! Yeah! Oh, take, taste my whip. Taste that whip! Get out of here. Oh, he's going all the way down. Oh, he's going all the way down. Fuck yeah. Here, taste it. Taste that dangly whip. Ooh, yeah, I love it. I love it! Boom! Step on him. Disrespect his grave. Woo! Yeah, that's a perfect pose. <laughs> One hit left! We did it! That was awesome! Oh yeah, that was great! Okay, Scott? The Game Freak game? Well, that, that can only mean one thing! That must mean we're playing yet another Pokemon Nuzlocke Challenge! Ruby version this time! The big huge rule is every time a Pokemon faints, it is dead and must be released. Um, so I guess the final rule after that one is we have to nickname every Pokemon. That way, they are really bonded to us, and it hurts that much more when they ultimately die. Let's go. To the little root, and we were in the back of a moving truck. God damn it, Mom! 
Rob, we're here, honey! It must be tiring riding all these... Riding it with our things in the moving truck. Yeah, one of those boxes could have moved and killed me, Mom. So let's see what we do get. We get Mudkip, a mudfish Pokemon. We get the water type again, just like last time. Despite it being completely imperfect, because it's a female, <laughs> we're gonna go with that alliteration and the fact that we're royalty still. Name you King Kappa. It's terrible enough to work, I love it. May your- OH SHIT! God, that, our playthrough could have been over right there, and good thing I picked up that potion, or else I would have just lost this battle and lost. Holy shit! What a good way to start, huh? <laughs> oh man! If I didn't pick up that potion, this playthrough would have already been over. That would have been the shortest and saddest <laughs> Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge of all time. Let's finish him off, Fertile. Get in there. Hit him. Hit him good. Flamethrower. Earthquake sh- oh, fuck, it's ground. I don't know what that's gonna do. Easy. Alright, super effective, but we can get a fire flamethrower in on him. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Fertile getting that last hit! Congratulations! The feelings you have for your Pokémon and the Pokémon that respond to those feelings with all their might, they came together as one and created an even greater power, and thus, you were able to grasp today's victory. You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new... Champion? Well, that looks different, now doesn't it? This is something different, huh? Sega! Capcom, now that looks familiar. But Sega, this is the first time we're playing a Sega game. Any non-Nintendo game. But we are kind of cheating in the sense that it is a Sega game, but it's Mega Man. It is a game I've never, I had never really heard of up until now. It's called Mega Man Wily Wars, and it's actually the original three Mega Man games from the NES. Kind of remastered, redone, kind of Super Mario All, Super Mario All Stars improvements, and it was put on the Sega Sega Genesis. We get to play all three of them. We're gonna go through every single one of them, baby. Start with the first one. There we go. That's it! Do we do it? Woo! Mega Man 1 down, baby! And Mega Man 2. This is the one that I, our family, owned growing up. Easily my favorite one of them. It's been a long time since I've played, though. Ooh, this is one of the best intro build-ups ever. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe not quite as good as the original, this remixed version, but still very, very good. Two more. Two more, please. Right, here we go. Get him! Ugh! Holy crap! Heart was stopped there. Woo! Holy crap. Suck it, Wily. But this is the song that I pair with Mega Man 3. So even though we owned Mega Man 2 growing up, I, our neighbors had this one, so I... It's very possible I actually played this one more than Mega Man 2, so... Doesn't mean I'll remember it any better, unfortunately. Oh, we're gonna find out. Yup! <laughs> yup, I knew Top Word to get something! Holy shit, that did it, huh? This looks like the actual Wily, so we beat it! That was it! Mega Man 3! Ooh! Ooh! Well, I wonder who that is. Where's Dr. Wily? Oh no, too late! Well, Wily's crushed and dead. New prototype, brother of Mega Man. Oh, Proto Man, you man. So that was all of them that were made by him. And then the rest were made by Dr. Wily, who apparently is alive. The thing that's new to this game specifically, made only for Wily Wars here, is Wily's Tower. It's only locked after you defeat those other three. Let's do it. Let's take that on. See what, see what comes from this. So there's actually some original content besides just revamped new games. You metallic morons, I'm not finished with you yet! 
Ooh, those new robot masters at the bottom there. I still have a few hundred tricks up my sleeve! Oh, I'll bet. You got, what, three, four more games worth? These three robots were specially designed to smash you like a tin can. I was going to say a bug. I would have been wrong. Try not to go to pieces, Mega Man! <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Wiley. I don't really know what to expect with any of this, but I do know I get to pick weapons from all three of the previous games, which is pretty badass. Come on. Almost. Suck it, Wily. Ah! Ooh, it started smoking before it ended, too! Suck it, Wily! Metal Blade is the best weapon of all time! <laughs> Woo! Wily Wars! We beat it! Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, and now the Wily Tower! Fuck yeah. Hell, yeah we did it! Okay, Scott? Oh, that beautiful ticking clock. It really, really displays the theme of time that's so wrapped up in this game. Easily one of the top ten favorite games of mine of all time. And what some people really consider, if not the greatest role-playing game, if not the greatest Super Nintendo game, maybe the greatest game of all time, at least in some people's eyes. I know I love it. We're going to play Chrono Trigger. I love this game! Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. I will. I always thought, this is clearly a woman with a shawl. I always thought it was like a gnome guy with a big mustache. Anyway. His real name is Glenn. And we're gonna name him as such. Because we're not just naming him Frog. That's silly and stupid. Glenn, that's why I always named you. That's what we're naming you this time. I'm pretty sure it's just one N. Glenn, welcome to the group. Oh, Honorable Glenn. Glenn spelled with two N's. <laughs> uh, not only did Magus kill his best friend, not only did Magus be, just be a general dick, but Magus took his his humanity from him. He turned him into this. He turned him into this frog. He stole his best friend. He stole his life. He stole his humanity. He stole the N from his name. My name is Glenn! <laughs> God damn it! It's still, still spelled with two ends. See, he's retrieving his humanity, that's what I mean. The Glenn twins. I see Hedges. See Clodo. But Clodo is my friend. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Uh, yes, I will take the challenge. I don't have enough points. How many points do I need? What, do I need 50 points or something? Ah, son of a bee. All right, let's go get points. Hearts on fire, strong desire. Ayla now has all of her shit. Whoa, what is happening with that guy? That shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. That is an affront to nature. You know, on top of the fact that he's a robot. The boss is itching to avenge the gr grudge that's been in the family for 13 generations. Hey, he's gotta frame the king! <laughs> oh, jeez. They're named Dumb and Dumber. I love it. So, quick, let's... Wonder shot. Oh, my God! Oh, look how much stronger it is! Damage can vary, but when it does a, you know, powerful hit, it's fucking badass. Oh, wonder shot! Holy shit! I should be attacking with Luca every single time. I just hit him by 2,200. <laughs> that was awesome. We'll just do all this just to make sure, because I want to make sure. Of Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, Glenn! No, Glenn, no! <laughs> One thousand hit hit points. Jesus Christ! Let's do the time warp again. Put your hands on your hips. And take your knees in time. And again, this thing on the far right's gonna die soon. Oh, there it goes! I call it! <laughs> it doesn't die, it's indeed dying soon. Crushed it! Beat it! Beat Chrono Trigger! I wouldn't say it's a huge accomplishment, but it's a hell of an end to a journey. God, this game was so great. 
It's the Moonlight Parade! Woo! Holy shit, explosions! Ah, oh, man. Look at all these lights, I love it. Okay, Scott. That just crushed my shit in. 